So in my eyes, this channel is, well, when this video comes out, the channel will be about four months old. I feel like that's still brand new. So I don't really exactly know what people like to see. So everything's a gamble, I have no idea. So if the video gets good views, I know to do it more, but just a matter of what I do. So like, well, this is a Jeep I just traded for. And I'm not much of a trader. Oh, uh, I just rather sell stuff and buy what you want. But a buddy of mine had this, he got, he got it and didn't know about the what a 47HO was. And literally there's one motor for sale in the country, or USA, sorry. So I got it. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the thing, but rather than trying to move it around with a sky track and all that, I think it'd be easier just to get the thing running. I may regret my words, but let's get in the shop. And like I said, I don't know how far we'll go along with this thing, but I just, I'm gonna let y'all tag along, see what happens. Here we go. Cool. Not gonna do a full video on this now, I need to, but literally this stand is built right there, bolts to a 4.7, because like that one's probably got a drop valve and on that thing right there, I can pull the head in 19 minutes Whereas in the vehicle, it takes about, I don't know, three hours just to get them off there. So it's quicker to pull the motor and flop it on that stand right there, but we'll talk about that another day. All I want to do is get it in the shop before it turned dark, but I'm kind of thinking instant regret. We'll see. I'm going to finish this Jeep, so I got a lift. Man, don't you just regret buying some stuff sometimes, but I'm a sucker for a project, so let's check it out. This thing, that's going. Uh, that's for sale if anybody needs it. I don't like the hole sticking out there, so I've already actually talked to a buddy of mine that built some of my bumpers for me. Uh, gonna need two tires. No idea what they've got going on here. They've got the bolts out of the lower hinge. I, Sometimes you just, I don't know what to say. And it's like, I kind of considered taking this thing and stripping it, but these are welded. That's actually a pretty good job. I don't know who did that, but the door is, uh, evidently batteries die at 50% nowadays. I don't know what that's all about, but check it out. It's, it's actually the Overland Edition O2 model and custom bouncy steering wheel. It does have the 247 HD case. They didn't swap that out. But like you can tell, Mouse has been living here. Headliner's actually decent. Oh, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten switches. Mismatched door, dent, tail lights. Bumper almost as good. Uh oh, nothing back there. Then, <clears throat> where is it at? It's true dual triangulated four link suspension so that's probably a spicy spicy lift kit the front is what do you call it uh three the true three link it's got sway bar disconnects uh dual stabilizer that's going in the garbage adjustable track bar so i mean somebody somewhere spent some money on this jeep a toolbox is in the way but it's got wide wheels and wheel spacers so that's probably got to go. I ain't really into all that. So crank it up. Well, not crank it up. Let me get a battery on it. See what it sounds like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's always the same story. They was just driving and it quit running. Nobody can tell the truth anymore. Like a whole four minutes into working this th on this thing and I'm about to take this off. This is so aggravating. You're, you can't reach nothing. Uh, not good signs. Let's see. No antifreeze to be seen on in there. Alternator. It's essentially locked up. I don't know if that's why the belt's off. Filter's absolutely saturated with dirt, mud. Probably pretty much already got my full story, but well, let me lay the camera down. I just stuck a battery on it. We'll see what it sounds like. Maybe it'll just fire up and run right. Will not start with a key. Can't wait to rip all these wires out of here. Got me a relay where I can crank it myself. Right there. 
Did you hear that? <laughs> Y'all can't see it, but the radiator cap is trying to... It's like picking up and down, so... I was just driving and it quit running. The radiator cap's talking to me. That's not good. <coughs> Let me get back with you. All right, well, it's not even remotely what I was hoping for, but it's been around hot, pretty obvious. So this is so confusing, but this is a HO motor, okay? So it's got HO heads, and it's basically the Jeep 4.7, bottom end but it has the dodge 47 block which has bosses for knock sensors and then being the ho it has a uh, a forge crankshaft so it's very confusing i could explain all day on that but i've got another bottom end uh i think it had bearing issues so hopefully this bottom end like crank and rods is good and we may just have to bore it, put pistons, and they have dome top pistons, high compression, so you gotta run 93. Like I said, not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for just a drop valve, obviously not. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get the motor out. The Jeeps, I don't know. Um, it's it's a regret, but we'll keep moving forward. But um, this, that's gotta get off there. Here we go. All right, very close. Got every, pretty much everything on the top side that I could. And man, these long arms just make it so, you know, usually the axle's up here. This just, you can barely reach up there, but struggling to get a bolt. A uh, few more things. Thing nasty. Oh, like, how do you not hear this? I feel like that'd be very uh, noisy. But got to run town, pay bills, cash check. Yep. All right, I'm back from lunch. Instead of going straight back to time lapse, I kind of give you a walk around. That's uh, that's pretty good there. I was gonna say, struggling to get the exhaust bolts out for something else. Oh, it is gonna need both wheel bearings. No way, look at my pry bar. How did that happen? But anyway, it's got quad drive in the front. I still ain't figured out the ratio, actually. No, it's not red on there, newer stuff is. I think it's probably the factory 373, but don't know that sucks somebody spent four thousand dollars on a long arm they didn't put gears in there rear ends welded if it was complete off-road that would be cool but i don't really know what i'm even doing with this jeep so we'll get to that another day but this looks like a can of biscuits when you bust it so that's got to be fixed yeah y'all can see that vent tube we don't really participate in them is what it's looking like it's so crazy seeing people do so much of the right thing and then just avoid some of the simplest stuff. That one's the same way. So this thing's probably gonna need all the bushings. Does have the 247, the HD. That's actually the same transfer case in like a Dodge 1500, I believe. Oh, uh, this is so goofy, but it does work. Let's see if one more thing. Oh, always tighten your jam nuts up. I've seen those come loose on a crappy built four link system. Talk on the phone. And they'll wiggle around and you'll actually, they'll fall apart. So do proper maintenance, but so close to getting this motor out and we'll get to see what it looks like on the inside. I know it's gonna be bad. Well, I got a motor. It, uh, yeah. That's for people that don't believe me, there's HO, if you can see it. Listen, HO. And they've already been a uh, reman, but that's missing. That's not good because it's a HO intake too. You can see right there. Oh, uh, I think I've got one of these somewhere. I just have to locate it. Worst case, we can put a regular one on there, man. It's, it's just, it is what it is. And that's what I was gonna say. 
halfway through tearing this thing apart, I mean, it's not a piece of crap, but it's pretty close to it. And I was like, man, just pull everything out, swap it in, put in another body. But I don't know, I just enjoy doing this. And like, there's probably not very many uh, Overland editions out there with good titles. So never gonna be mint stock form again, but we'll get it. We'll get her squared away and get it driving. Went ahead and took that out. So gotta get all this put back in the Jeep. It's obviously not gonna be a fix tomorrow. So let's take us over Justin's entire part and see what we're looking with. Now I'm gonna pressure wash all this later. And I'm gonna, oh, that's what I was gonna say. It's got a hydraulic fan. I don't know if y'all ever seen one of these. The power steering pump, uh, it puts out more fluid. We're gonna do a video on that one day, but we're trying to see. Somebody has cut the wires that controls like a purge solenoid. You know, I would say fluid comes in and it controls how much fluid goes through there. So I don't know. They had it on a flip switch thinking it was electric fan. I don't know. It's a pretty good idea, but you should have just stuck with factory stuff. It don't go bad like. Oh yeah, I was working on it and the springs were just dangling. I was like, heck yeah. So we kind of lowered her down get the motor out, but I'll put it back in there and move it around. Crazy things won't stand up for nothing. All right, so here's actually one of my four O's that I built. I don't even think I videoed it, but weather was right and Justin's shop's air conditioning. So there he is. So that's that's a project for another day. Look what I brought you. What'd you bring? A four seven H O. Wow. What do you what do you, what do you want to do with this? Fix it. They're junk. They're not junk. They're like two grand used. Yeah, because they're junk. There's none out on the road. No. No, no. Well, I guess I owe Justin some money I forgot about, so I'm going to get some money to pay him. But I'm gonna go get this motor put away. I'll show you some of the other motors I got. All right, we went ahead and parked the Jeep, but yeah, got uh, three motors. That one's going in, uh, I call it the Dr. Jeep. That one's my four-wheel drive swap. I have no idea. Project for another day. Got her in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all see what the oil looks like, and obviously I can't hold the camera and take it apart. I'm gonna get to work. Ooh, just a pinch of water. So that's not bad, but not good. So I'll just start taking it apart. When I know something, I'll holler back at you. Come on, Janter. I popped the thing off, dang, four seven holds it all up in there, and then that was full, and then it was running through the- Dex thing yeah. ever used one of these. Sorry, the GoPro battery ain't very good. Got a mess. Well, Justin actually cleaned up my mess, but I wasn't ready to show y'all anything. I just had a accident, but so far, uh, turn the light on, still can't see down there. So far, we don't have any drop valve seats, which is the best scenario, because when it drops a valve seat, what it does is like usually this one, it'll start shooting up the piston. Okay, well then the valve's not closing, so it'll push metal on a compression stroke, push metal back up into here. Well, it just so happens that I don't know which one. One cylinder will be on intake, so it'll push this metal to this one, then vice versa. And it's so crazy. I've seen some people, I guess, just keep driving them, and it'll go back forth all of them and just ruin the motor. So this should be a good scenario i hope i'm not getting my hopes up but let me get back to work yeah all right we're basically gonna pick this head off there i'm not a liar so i like to make sure everything all my content is uh legit not legit what's the word true what's the word come on cameraman oh i don't know uh, You're seeing it as it's happening. Yeah. He, 
He's lying. He glued it on there a second ago. Hey! Oh my goodness. Don't oh, oh, oh. hurt yourself. So it didn't drop any seats or anything? So far, the other head's known, but I mean, I think it's just a severe. God, it smells so bad. Yeah, unfortunately. But, dome tops, I mean, I think we can just hone it and move on. Like, you think so? That's what Dick said. Not me. Be good. Oh, that's much better. It's cleaner. A little bit. So if, you, if, you, if you call that clean. What are we what? What are we looking at? It's already been. That's the one that's known. So they've already. They haven't pinged it. Is that valve not dished in right there? You see that texture? That's. Is it mushroom? That, that yeah. valve's different than that. Well, they've replaced this one. Yeah. This head's a reman. Yep. I mean, everything looks like Justin can fix it. I can't. Exhaust is rusty on the inside. So. Huh. You think? I'm just assuming they blew the head gasket and parked it and it just rested. Like I said, it, it about broke the bolt trying to torque the thing, or trying I mean, to turn the motor over. It looks like there's literally little or dirt in here. Well, yeah, I, well, right there. I mean, that looks like mud. You may be right. Yeah, I, I really think that's Y'all remember, I'm gonna cut back to the scene when I said in the first of the video, the air filters were covered in mud. Filters absolutely saturated with dirt, mud. Yeah. Huh. So you think it's just hot and sucked in mud on top of? Yeah, that's that's not rust. That's a that's just straight mud. Well, that's good on a motor. I was gonna say this. We're looking at the top end. I really like to see the bottom end. <laughs> that's what everybody said. <laughs> All right, we'll see the bottom end. So unfortunately, like. Dex rebuild stuff. This one is going to have to be a, a full on build. So I guess I'm taking everything off the block. But, uh, you'll roll it over and make a bigger mess. For real. They can do it. It should be center of gravity. Everybody keeps saying I need employees. I bring one guy over here for an hour and he's done made. I've fun. had to stop what I was doing and mop the floor. You need to mop it again. Fixing the half of my <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the time and stuff off. And like I said, the entire motor's gotta be machined or whatever you call that. I'm not real sure. It won't quit waterfall on whatever that brown stuff is. This is just a very nasty motor. It's just, ooh. So somebody's changed that gasket. Got a new oil pump, so. Luckily I probably don't have to buy like a ton of parts, but still have to buy some stuff. We'll get the bores out here in a minute. I don't know what it is about forge crankshafts. They always look good for what they are, but God, I got my fingers crossed that this is all good. It's like I was trying to explain earlier, the reluctor wheel here, that's 16 tooth, okay? Or pretty sure it's called 16. Well, about 01 Dodge went to 32 tooth. Well, this is a Dodge block with a Jeep forge crankshaft in there. So it's kind of definitely one off stuff, you know, it's just confusing to explain unless I wrote it out on paper. So. I'm going to get all these dotted and numbered and... Just to set a motor, it's not supposed to be this hard to turn. Can y'all see? It's got hard spots. I'm by no means an expert, but uh... Yeah. Alright, get them numbered. Go pro stop recording. I'm going to brag, I only got one out, but uh... It's pretty nice. It's pretty Steve Moore's nice. Oh, got my fingers crossed because that bottom end right there is literally what everything rides on, like literally. Man, I'm so happy. Exactly what I was hoping for. It is filthy. I'll get that, but check this out. Spin it by hand. It spins nice, free, smooth, so. Justin, let me just hone it. We're just gonna hone it and put these used pistons back in there. No. But even these, I didn't even know, uh, Justin may not even know this, Da, 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 da. High outputs have a different, it's a tri-metal instead of a bi-metal rod bearing. I swear to goodness, they would probably be reusable. I don't know if he'll let me do that or not, but. Oh, obviously got a lot of cleaning up to do. Still gotta take the head apart. I know all the LS guys will know what this stuff is. LS guys and girls, sorry. But the rods are fracture broke. So they're actually casted. And then however they do it, they break them. 
and then they only fit back. I believe myself, I can't even get it lined up. However they, but you can see what I'm getting at there. You can't mix up a single one of them caps. I mean, you could, but it wouldn't be right. So that's pretty neat. And this is a bed plate. When I get this off, I wanna show you. That's, that's pretty cool. There's no main caps. It's a whole bottom of the motor comes off, so. Bottom end is solid on a 4.7. They just fall apart all the time. Top side does. I thought I was kidding when I said this, but like I said, this spins free. It's obviously going to clean it, but this is the worser side. I, I'm going to hone it and see what it looks like. And like I said, y'all know what I do. That's going to get rebuilt. It's going to get drove like 10 times and it's going to get parked. And who knows till I start my museum. But uh, I'm actually going to see how much it, film I've got. I may include this in the video of I'm going to learn to do my first valve job. Justin's always done it himself, but now he's busy and I'm still busy, but I'm not busy, but I'm busy. So yeah, I'll see. And yeah. I was so hoping just to pop a valve cover off and change a rocker arm. Now I've got all this mess. I got to pack back in the Jeep, wash it. Yeah. Got the old Comanche going to get some new tires. Well, not the Comanche, just getting some new tires. There was one point when I was kidding about it, but I think I'm gonna try to hone that block, but this is wild. The pistons, I don't know if they've got so hot. Look at the pin depth, and right there, it's flush, actually protruding, whatever. So I don't know about that, but I am gonna get new pistons if this honing idea works out. So let's go try it first, then the heads. The driver bank was the worst one, more than the passenger one over there. So I'm gonna try the worst one and just see what it looks like, I mean, Save me some trouble from boring it. Or Justin, not me. No bueno, or whatever. Uh, don't know if y'all can tell right about down there where my finger is to where it sit and actually rusted instead of just this surface rust. So it actually is pitted. Justin, give me the bad news that he don't think 40,000 is gonna clear it up. So I may be screwed. So I'm gonna finish taking it apart and then I know I gotta get the heads cause gotta have the HO head. So I'm work on them just a second. Okay, so Justin did find one millimeter, which he says is 40,000. So again, I got my fingers crossed, but this is bed plate. The entire bottom of the motor comes off and it's actually the main cap. So definitely uh, good, I would assume, but it's a lot of trip. So you can see, we'll wash it up. But I think the bearings look good. Just gotta get this thing down to bare block. Got the block out there. We're gonna wash it. That's wash, not wash. But nothing exciting to see there. But I'm gonna get these things tore apart. And luckily they're all individually stamped. So I don't, I mean, I'm gonna keep up with them, but I don't like have to. And that's HO cams. We're gonna be careful with them and get all this apart and knock the valves out, keep the lifters out apart or set in the right order. And I'm gonna learn how to grind a valve. And Where's it at? I've always seen Justin do this. I ain't never done it. So I'm gonna learn myself because leave him alone. But you get these rocks, you get this <coughs> thing bobber and something about something right here. So we'll, we'll learn that when I get everything apart. Got everything took apart. Justin brought me this cart and he's like, you need a triple, triple level. I was like, ah, oh, just take them apart, lay them here. But I come, I run out of room quick. I've never did this before. Or, I don't remember if I have, but got everything, took part, fixing to go pressure wash them. We got this plug out to blow the oil galley out. That's what I said. These are reman heads. The valve seals was probably good. But it's one of the things you're here, do it if you're here. So I'm gonna pressure wash these and throw them in the washer he's doing right now and probably start working on the valves. That's this machine here. I've seen him stand here for hours, but I've never actually, I don't know. So, just a second, we'll learn. I was getting the stuff ready to wash and wash. Where do you get this stuff, Dollar Tree? Dollar Store. Dollar Store? Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, I think, either one. But uh, if you look on the back, it actually tells you to dilute the stuff to use it, but it's literally totally awesome. Now, fresh wash, that stuff actually works pretty good. I'm sure you can keep on going, but now we're gonna throw them in this uh, dishwasher. It's called a spin washer for some strange reason. Got sprayers. All sorts of stuff. We actually got it from Ohio? Yeah, Ohio. Somewhere up in Ohio. It was like a 15 hour drive for us. So yeah, come from up there. Rest free. So now he tells me to take my valves off over here to the, still don't know how to pronounce that, Sue machine. Open it up. 
pretty cool how it works. I already popped it loose. And then it's got like stone media. And this thing just sits there and spins and it's got little holes. And down there I get mineral spirits. Mineral spirits. Mineral spirits that goes in there. And sits there and beats the carbon and oil and all that stuff off there. So we'll, I'll get it when I get them in there. Now we got some valves laying there. Make sure that's shut, I would assume. Set it and forget it. About 10 or 15 minutes. 12. We'll go with 12. That's easy enough. Just walk away. All right, I think I'm a licensed professional now. So. I'll show you. We've already kind of did some work on here, but first step, clean it with one of them things. Get all the cruddiness out of there. And next step is out of all them drivers, we need to find pilot, whatever you want to call them. Find one that fits in there. Next, took the, put the valve back over there, but out of all these stones, we find one that's just a size bigger than your valve. You know, one for exhaust, one for intake. Now he's got these drivers and you can see, well, we use that one a little bit, but every time, I wouldn't say every time, I don't do this, but you dress them and you stick one on here and actually I can just show you. So take this big monstrous thing here and give it some spin. Well, first you have to set the angle, but we've already got it on the right angle. And yeah, there's nothing to it. So now this should be set at the proper angle. Put it there and then you will get this thing. So this one's already done, I'm just showing you. And do that a few times. Actually, I'm getting a step ahead. We gotta, we gotta put the die come down. I got my steps mixed up when camera comes out. But you can see, they've already remanned this head and it's called pinion. And that puts a little, applied a little pressure to hold that valve seat in there. I'm not gonna get too technical on that. And I know somebody's gonna say it causes a pre-detonation. It's just part of it, it's better than a valve seat falling out. So. This motor luckily has not sensors, but we'll take the Dicom. I've never ever did this. I just watched him smear it around on there. Except so I'm not gonna we'll get over technical. If you look carefully, there's a three different angles there. There's like a 80, like a 45, and like a 30. All we're typically concerned with is the one that actually seals. The rest of them kind of just help airflow. So that's the 45 we're working with. So I'm gonna get all these painted up and Work on the grinder. Now we got them all painted. Dry them off. And delete this thing. So as soon as they're dry, stick the rock up there. I said, I ain't there. He just showed me how to do this. I'm a little nervous. He just left, so. Forgot I had to dress these things. If you see, spin it around there somewhere. There's a little black spot. That's, you could probably get that out, but I'm not that technical on this stuff, so. Yeah, got it all marked. We'll drop it on there. Not drop it, sit it. And he said just a few light bumps. Probably should go more, but I'm a little nervous. Ah! Uh, I think it's actually perfect. All the blues gone. That wasn't too bad at all. Now I uh, got about 12 more to go. No, 16. That actually wasn't that bad. I was kind of nervous about it, but I got them all done. Like I said, motor work, you can carry motor work as far as you want to go. That's why motors cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. This one's not, this one just has to run. So that's the surfacer we use. I'm not gonna get technical on that. We will do that another day, but it works great. So I'm going to get this thing and get all this cleaned up, ready for the sander table there. So it don't clog up all the belts. I've learned I'm not a Dicom expert. I got it plumb run off to the edge of the intake in there. But I was gonna see if a GoPro let me show you. If you see where they pinged it, like in four corners here, you can actually see the valve. Can y'all see that? The different discoloration. So I reckon they did the valve job and then pinged it. And it's not, not good. So I already got everything pinged. So I'm trying to get their their mistakes out of there. I'm sure, I don't know who did it, but yeah, I'm learning. So evidently there's a different belt for cast iron versus aluminum. So we're putting the aluminum belt on. Yes. Yes. He, he actually said the valves look good for a first timer. So not too bad. We were just talking about this belt 
table sander, whatever the thing's called, I don't know. But it gets such a bad rep from people that can afford better machine stuff. Then it's like the one that sweeps around with a little tooth and cuts. Does it look better? Yes, but at, like from my standpoint, like a transfer case, if you ever took one apart, every time that thing comes around, it's making a scrape mark. And you can actually feel those ridges where, I know you can't feel in this video, but when we get done, it'll look like a million scratches, but it's like literally as smooth as anything else. So it works. We just don't have a, how many thousand dollar machine? Like tens of thousands. Yeah. This, this thing's paid for, it works, it gets the job done. Maybe one day we can get one that does blocks and all that stuff, but here we are. Why, we have no idea. The thing is three phase, which I don't really think it needs three phase. And then it's got a 110 plug-in that runs the foot pedal switch, which activates three phase. So, very confusing. I'm just gonna stand here. Okay. I figure they're good, huh? What do they look like? What do they look like? A little warpage on them. So you can see, turn the light on. You can see it's contacting there, back here, but so the head is like actually domed over, whatever you call it, concave. So, very, very, very common. So, like I said, that looks terrible. Actually, it don't even look bad in the video. So, yeah. Keep on getting uh, that straightened out. This takes time. And I <coughs> got some dust. If you keep on doing it, the head will actually get hot not hot warm and where it's contacting this will get hot this will be cold so i can't tell you exactly what it'll do but it'll start forming so you have to do it and then let it sit for a this while. this gets hot this expands grows this doesn't so you have to let it equalize out for it to be flat yeah so look timely process don't have no liquid cooled milling machine so now we get to play with this machine you can tell obviously a lot better Justin did that one, so I'm gonna try to chuck up one and remember all these buttons he told me to do and I'll try to show you what's gonna happen here. Well, this is kind of neat. He didn't explain it to me. It's got a collet in there, you know, like a drill. So you push it in there. I'll redo this, but you gotta hold it back and then it's got a little rocker here and it's air actuated. I seen him doing it the other day. I was like, how's it doing that automatically? So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I did one. I'm a professional now. Stick it in here. Hold it in there, and then, see this is gonna turn on, ain't it? Mm -hmm. All right, it's ready. So now, we're, make sure that's too far back. And now I'm gonna get it oily. We're gonna start feeding this one in until we get some noise. So now you can hear it touching. That means it's a little off. And he said to keep wiggling this back and forth so you don't, you know, what do you call it, a flat. Wear out more of the rock in one spot. So it's kind of boring. You just go back and forth till it's all clean across one side. So I'm still confused on when to stop because the oil kind of. I guess if you just do this long enough, you realize what you're doing, but I don't. So now we do that. It releases. You're supposed to let it drip more, but we'll pull it out of there. And then you gotta tap. Use the rubber end of that. No. And there we go. We got, uh, let's see. I mean, it just needs cleaned off. One little spot there, but it'd be all right, won't it? Yep. All right. Got a, a few more to go. One part I forgot to add, we already had it set up. Every valve's cut on a different angle. Probably can't see it, but these are set on 45 degrees. So, yeah. Now we'll get on this. There's called three angle. No, three angle ground the seat, don't you? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Pretty sure y'all understand what's going on here, but I stopped on this a little early. You can see, well, it's a brown spot and then it's clean on this side. So just trying to get everything clean surfaces. Justin said he was gonna do the heads, but it looks like me doing them. It's actually harder than it looks. You, when you pull that trigger, that takes that head away from you. But a couple more passes were good over here. But you can see we're still lacking just a little bit right in the dead center. So a few more passes, gotta alternate them. Still gotta start on that one too. My goodness, this is a lot of work. Been at them for several minutes now. Getting so close, but can't get that out of there. And so close on that. Maybe just a few more passes. And Justin did tell me one little thing, is kind of pick up on the head and move around so it's not like, can you imagine a grinder digging down into something? Finally got this good surface on there. It's hard to get, there's like one spot in the middle I couldn't get out of them. But got them, so we throw them in a spin washer again. 
Okay, this part, Justin showed me, if you take material off here, if you took material off here, you took material off the head. So that makes the valve go up. So now you need to cancel it out with some of this off there. Pretty simple. You just stick it in here, slide it against the rock there, tighten it down, turn it on. Uh, we turned it off. Now you turn it on. So now you just ease in there carefully. Here it touch. Keep swinging it, and then you turn this knob up here. Bring it in a few thousand. And then turn it off. What we got? Perfection. GoPro won't let you see that. Yeah, so yeah, got them all done. Imagine how long your motor would last if you didn't blow all this dust out. It just keeps coming. So I'm gonna get dust blowed out and they go back in the spin washer. Then it's time for assembly. Okay, I got two brand new looking-ish, not really at all heads and a whole bunch of stuff. So I gotta get all this put together. This is a lot more work than I intended on. There ain't really nothing wrong with them. It just takes forever. Gotta use that machine there. So now I got all my valves pushed in there. I vacuum checked them, they're good. Some of them, not all of them. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my work. That's what Justin said, I was gonna drop some valve seats. I didn't drop, drop a single one. So knock on. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, lubed up, greased up, and torqued back down. I didn't even ride on these because you can always tell the driver's side because it's always got vice grip marks right there. And I admit, I do the exact same thing. There ain't really no other way to get around it, but it works. Finally, 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 finally got the heads together. That's more of a job than I was intended on, but it needs to be done. So, got the block sitting here. It's resting. Got to throw it in the dunker tank and get it washed up, washed, and see about boarding it over to 40 over, and we'll go from there. Appreciate you watching.